copper is highly toxic to sheep. But at the same time, sheep still have to have copper, but in very small amounts. In fact, the difference between what they have to have and what is toxic is so slim. Copper plays a huge role in every living animal. It's just that out of all the animals, sheep have the hardest time getting rid of copper from their body. So it ends up just saturating the liver. That's where it causes damage, toxicity, and can lead to death. But when it comes to the barber pole worm, copper is highly toxic to the barber pole worm and it will wipe it out. So how do we get the copper to the barber pole worm but not hurt the sheep? This is a copper bolus. If you look closely at it, it has these tiny little wires in it made of copper. This is different than copper sulfate. This is copper oxide. And I'm not saying that copper oxide is not toxic to sheep because all copper can be toxic to sheep. But you have to consider the structure as well. These little wires take between four and 12 weeks to break down inside of the sheep's stomach. So not only does the worm protection last that long, but also the absorption takes that long. But it's still highly toxic to the barber pole worm. Something else about this, where everything else is gonna go through and be digested, these little wires are not. They're gonna go to the fourth stomach, the abomasum of the sheep, and that is where they will stay. They won't go any further. So if you're dealing with any other worms, such as an intestinal parasite, like tapeworms, it's not gonna do a thing. But barber pole worms live in the abomasum. This gets them right where they live, while at the same time, not hurting your sheep, but you do have to be very careful. This isn't something you want to do all the time. In fact, you probably wouldn't want to do it more than twice a year and definitely would want to get your vet's opinion before you ever use it. We do happen to live in a copper deficient area. And like I said, even sheep need the tiniest bit of copper. And if you happen to have a sheep who's copper deficient, they are going to be more likely to get the barber pole worm regularly. A lot of you have also asked, do any of the other sheep have it? Did the new girl bring it in? No, Tinkles is the only one. And the past four times that she's had it, she's been the only one. Whether it's a low immune system or a copper deficiency, it just attacks her and it gets a hold on her. So how do you prevent it? How how can you get rid of it? Well, it lives in the earth, it, it lives in the soil, and then it creeps up the grass up to four inches tall. So as they nibble on that grass, which sheep love to nibble close to the ground, they're gonna get it. But just like us, we come in contact with pinworms almost nearly every day of our life on door handles, uh, plates at restaurants. They're everywhere. But how many times do you hear somebody say that they got worms? You don't see them, uh, not a lot, because it's very rare that pinworms would mature enough to come out and actually let us see them. Before that, our immune systems will usually kick them. So it's not that the other sheep don't come in contact with the barber pole worm. It's just that Tinkles is lacking something to be able to fight it off. That's what our little friend is gonna help her do quite quickly.